Hi guys, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to tune a pedal clavichord. The pedal clavichord consists of three different clavichords tuned to the same pitch and the same temperament. The temperament is set by the bending of the tangents and the bending can be made by the builder uh, who determines the final temperament of, of the clavichord. These clavichords are tuned to 415, uh, so it's a uh, half step lower than modern pitch, and they are tuned to a temperament called Wagmeister 3. There's a difference between tuning a clavichord and setting a temperament. Tuning the clavichord is done by the tuning pins on the right side and you adjust the tension in the string and ideally the instrument stays in the same temperament but it shifts the pitch across the board now if you want to change the temperament of the clavichord you have to bend the tangents that touch the string I just tuned it and it's still out of tune. Oh, so disappointing. Anyways, so you have to bend that little metal, piece of metal that touches the string and it will adjust the length at which the two strings that are tuned to the same pitch resonate. Uh, by doing that, you can adjust the temperament. Now this is a fretted clavichord, that means that two or more, in this case it's just two keys touch the same string. So this is an F in 415, F sharp. So they share the same strings. You cannot play them together because you get the F sharp lower doesn't work so if you set the temperament you can now you can set the temperament both for the F and F sharp but, but tuning the string will affect both F and F sharps so I hope that makes things a little bit clearer I don't know let's go back to this F so out of tune so let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to remove the top clavichord. Uh, the music stand comes out like this. It's a very small instrument, so you can close it. And we have to remove it, and we'll tune the big pedal clavichord first, then the middle one second, and the top last. So let's just put it here. This one is a little bit harder, a little bit heavier. Should be a problem. Okay, these are kind of the support uh, brackets that slide, so you can slide the upper keyboard in and out the way you want it. And they, they can slide over the pedal clavichord. Here is the square shaped tuner that goes with these pins. And as I said, each tangent plays two strings. And you can see how it bends the string and the harder you press, the harder do you, the harder you press, the harder it bends the string, thus giving more energy to the sound and sustaining it more. So if you just play without bending it, it's kind of a dead sound, but if you press it 
and bend, there's a little crescendo. It's hard to do on the low strings. Let's try it on that. And with, especially with the pedal, it's easier on the manual. And it bends the, the pitch as well. Upward. Slightly. So that's why it's a little bit challenging to tune this instrument because you have to guess the strength at which most players, in my case it's myself, uh, the strength at which I would usually play the instrument and that would be in tune. So I ran into a problem already because I was using my iPhone for the recording, video recording, but I have my tuning app on my iPhone, it's called um, Clear Tune and it has all the temperaments I need. In my case it's Werkmeister, so I set it to Werkmeister 3 uh, here and set it to uh, Ver uh, set it to Werkmeister already, not the transposition, okay, Werkmeister 3 and set the calibration, that means the pitch, to 415, done. Let's see how it's holding up. Hasn't been tuned for a couple months. Wow, it's good. A little sharp. That's very sharp. I usually start with the middle C. And I need the mute. This is the mute. And what you need to do is mute one of the two strings because as I demonstrated today, the, the tangent touches two strings that are tuned to the same pitch. So you have to mute one of them. In, in this case it's hard because doesn't reach, it kind of falls in, need a bigger mute, but let's try, and then you have to follow the string, which one is, what this one is, so it's sharp, so you want to reduce the pressure. Also tune it like this by ear. I like it by ear. Better run. I trust my ears better than my eyes. Now I remove the turn it off. I removed the mute. So now you can hear that the other string is out of tune, so you have to tune that one. Good. Now I'm going on. Let's see how it holds up. Good. Okay, now let's put up the second manual. Place the holders.
Okay. Not so bad, but I want to go through it. Uh, as I said, these instruments haven't been tuned for for months, and that's partly because of my humidity system that makes sure that the room has a constant humidity above 40% at all times, which is crucial. I want to show you, this is the little tuner for the upper clavichord. It's a little straight pin. You see this part of the clavichord is muted and it's right uh, to the left side of the tangent. So if, if this part weren't muted, then the clavichord would cease to be a musical instrument because uh, if you don't mute one part of the string, then both parts will resonate at different pitches. Uh, let's find the string. So I want to mute the upper string because I am going upward. Okay, so it's hard to find the first pin. Find a string and mute the upper one and tune the lower string. You can find it. And I found the right string. The last thing you want to do is break a string. So when you're unsure if you are on the right string, just go and go lower. Don't yank the string because it will break it. This one. Okay, I'm on the right string, but you want to So this one also has two strings per note, so that's why you need the mute. I'm back after a short break. So let's check the temperament. I'm pretty happy with it actually. humidity levels straight, it should hold pretty well. Now I want to put the upper clavichord. They hold a little bit too steady. So this should be a piece of cake to tune compared to the other ones because this one only has one string per note and this should go pretty quickly because you just I just tune it to the middle of the chord. So the up the lower octave is chromatic on Freddy. Thank you. 
done and I didn't break a string. So now, voila, we have a nice and in tune pedal clavichord.